Hello everybody, you have tuned in to Eric Jose on Making a Murderer on YouTube. I cover virtually any aspect of Making a Murderer. I go over the evidence, the documents, the photos. So if you'd like, stay tuned and in the future I'll have many more videos besides the one you're about to see. Um, it's, uh, you know, and, and, and I'm sure there are in other countries. It, it, it just seems, um, as, as, as you've quite rightly pointed out, it's almost like you've got some very, very career-minded people, attorneys like like Kratz, like that 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 woman Worthy. Uh huh. Kim Worthy. You know, they they are so career-minded. You know, they, they 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 cannot possibly have that stain on their record that they got they got it wrong. Right. Yes. Too much pride. And and, and it's it's a little bit like I, I I think I think our friend Thomas in is has backed himself into such a corner. He is going to keep fighting and fighting and fighting, mm -hmm. and he's, he's he's never he's never going to admit it until he's actually put his fingers through those holes. He ain't going to ad right, he ain't going right. to admit that he's got it wrong. Right. Well, hey, we'll see about Stephen. You know, the evidence is still coming. I mean, but I mean, from what it looks like she's uncovering right now, it just shows further suspect things. The one point nine nanograms under the hood latch. I mean, especially after all the hu hubbub. That Kratz kept making about the Hoodlatch DNA right after right after MAM came out. That was one of the things he was harping on. I mean, yeah. he was like like it was the first thing he thought of. Why would yeah. that be? Hmm. Maybe because hmm. it was orchestrated, and maybe that's why there was 1.9 nanograms. You know, when out of out of uh, 15 people, four people managed to leave 0. 0.00 whatever nanograms you know nanograms but yet somehow yeah. steven leaves just miraculous amount of 1.9 on it How? i mean i mean i mean and, it, and it, it wasn't it, blood it, it wasn't blood no no it was determined no. that it was not blood yeah 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 so. no. steve, steve steve must be the sweat monster oh, yeah. you know he must <laughs> uh-oh i think your wi-fi is getting wonky what happens oh, there you go <laughs> yeah there we go okay yeah you went out for a second okay there. yeah <laughs> oh probably probably <laughs> it froze up anyway well, I, 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 I went blank <laughs> L lucky you <laughs> having to stare at me for a couple of hours <laughs> so yeah um so the other thing that that really was well there was there was Obviously, a, a few interesting things that 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 we uh, that we heard on that uh, that interview with uh, Chad and Wan on yeah. that radio show. I can't remember the name of the radio show. Will you be able to it was put Crime the link? Wire? Cri yeah. Will you be able to do that? I I, I like can put a link below talk. for everybody. Yeah. yeah. I like I like the fact they were talking about another group they were, which was something to do with was it transparency. Right, we're talking about political transparency. That's what Warren yeah. was talking about. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. right now everybody's in a big CYA operation there. What? What? What is a CYA? Co cover your ass. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what it meant. Yeah, he was. He was just. He was trying not to say ass. He didn't want to say that. Oh, all right. All right. He said CYA. No, I, 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 I did like his. Um, his, the, the way he explained about why making a murderer had been so big, and that was that was simply the fact that we were getting it presented to us as pictures. You know, we weren't just hearing about the individuals. We could actually see them. You know, we got a sense of, a, a little bit of a sense of their character. Mm -hmm. You know, not, obviously, obviously not, not, not to any great extent, right. but... Uh, but it, it, it did. It this this is one of the reasons why it's been such a you know why why have we focused on on this case so so much you know you know well, I mean I mean Herman must be sat in his office. You just keep finding more stuff that just makes you just go, what the hell was going on here? Yeah. So the more yeah. you keep finding stuff like that, it just you know it just keeps it, yeah you know it's like throwing yeah. another log on the fire, so. Yeah, so so getting back to uh, Brendan's March the first interview, mm -hmm. it was actually the third. You know, obviously there was the interview that was recorded by 
we got the fast oh, yeah. wonder on on the 27th and the and the 28th right. and they weren't presented because those those were the two where they were starting to feed him the facts right that's yeah that's don't forget on friday on friday they were they interviewed him they pulled him out of school they pulled they interviewed him and stuff then that's the, when they took him for the weekend to the fox hills resort and that's where we have no record of what happened in the last weekend at, at Fox Hills, there's nothing. Okay, so we have a whole weekend that investigators were spending with Brendan. Who knows what was being said or what they were extracting from him, setting him up for the eventual Monday, March first interrogation. So yeah, they had two and a half days essentially to prep Brendan. And, and most of it's off the record because they didn't record anything at Fox Hills. And yet, and yet the, um, the, because of the Avery bill, Fassbender had been trained by, amongst others, Jerry Buting on how the interview, these interviews should be done. Mm -hmm. And yet it wasn't. And so, so one of the main points is that, it, once again, it should never have gone to court without them having those, you know, the, the, the videotaped those interviews. Because, you know, if, if Barb had been present, there's no way she would have allowed him to have uh, sold himself. She certainly would have probably intervened at certain points. Whenever Brennan was looking, you know, confused and lost and hopeless... She would have probably her mama bear instincts would have probably kicked in. Would they have been helpful? That's that's where you I don't know maybe. <laughs> I could see where maybe the mama bear instincts might possibly have worked against them. I mean they obviously didn't want her in there as it was. So if she kicked up too much of a fuss, they could have easily put her out. We could all, I mean judging by how how easily they were able to, you know to convince her to stay out of there and they wanted her to stay out of there i you know i don't know they they probably wouldn't have tolerated too much from her in that sense in my opinion yeah i mean if if, if brendan had simply stuck to his original story but as you know as it's been but but it's but as you said you know the fact is that they they kept telling him that we know what happened. We know that you were there. We, you know, Steve's in, a, in another, another another cell, and he's selling you out. Yep. You know. Yep. He, you know, and and people are saying, you know, they, they, this this isn't right. So you, you know, and and this is why one of the reasons why you get these wrongful confessions is because people want to see why a. You've yeah. learned me a new one. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Okay. It's an oldie the, but a goodie other... here in America. Anyway, it's, it's an oldie but a goodie over here, across the pond. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yes, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Now, the, the other thing that, that that struck me, which was particularly interesting, was the uh, the bullet. Yeah. The bullet. When he talks, you're talking back... about when he talks about that the state of Wisconsin didn't actually have nibbin. The... Nibbin. Right. It didn't. They didn't. Nibbin. They didn't submit it to Nibbin, but they also didn't have the the equipment required to test a twenty two rifle of the type yeah. of bullet that the bullets they found were, which had a. Uh, they actually had like a stainless steel um, um, sh uh, shell or something, and that that made it difficult to test at their labs. But somehow, Peg. peg just said, oh, no, Wisconsin can do that now, eight years before they ever got the actual proper testing equipment for that type of thing. So Yeah, well, well, the, the, bullet, the bullet simply was inadmissible, should have been inadmissible. And, and yes, you, you're, you're right there. It was the fact that it had a nickel, nickel coated sorry, yes. plating, nickel plating. And, and, and it, it erodes. Yes, and so therefore, had it l lain in that garage for those four months, if it had any DNA on that bullet, would be lost, right. would have been destroyed. Right. And I must admit, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know that. But it makes perfect sense that you know that uh, 
just goes along with what you know when you look at the picture of the bullet. You can look at that damn picture and you can see that bullet has no dust on it. It's actually sitting on top of a vein of dust, actually, when you look at it. And, I mean, and, and you can tell it's kind of bowl-shaped when you look at the picture. On the side of the bullet that's facing up, it's kind of bowl-shaped. Why is there no dust in that little bowl area there? I mean, the thing is clean. I mean, it tells you that they were they wanted to make sure they found something on March 1st when they went into that garage to make sure they had, you know, or when they went in, whenever they got the warrant on March 2nd or 3rd or whatever it was. Um, but they wanted to make sure they found something there so that they could make all of Brendan's statements have, like, validity, you know? Could you imagine if they went into the garage and didn't find anything after everything Brendan said and that there was nothing in the trailer, nothing in the garage, nothing at all. Can you imagine if they didn't find that bullet? What would have happened then? You know what I mean? What would have happened? Because they would have looked awfully foolish. They would have really had egg on their face because they know people are going to go listen to that confession and go, guys, what the are you doing here? You know? I mean, they're just going to be like, and then you got a warrant for this? Are you kidding me? You know what I mean? I, I, that's, you know, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As, as somebody else pointed out as well, you know, Stephen Avery knew knew about the equipment in his garage. He, yes, yes, there could be bullet casings from him being in the garage, firing out of the garage towards, you know, critters, as you call them, right. rabbits Gophers and stuff like and, that. Yeah. But but he certainly wouldn't be firing the the, the, the he rifle inside. apparently had a inside. very serious gopher problem, by the way. Yeah. So just yeah. so you know. Yeah, he wouldn't. He wouldn't be firing inside the garage, right next to a compressor. A compressor, right? <laughs> and where, where he's got gas canisters. Can you imagine, right? For welding. Yeah, you per if if hit, if that bullet hits the canister of that compressor, it's gonna Boom. be like an explosion. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been more than one person cremated. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just like you kidding me. Anyways, yeah. Most likely, um, what happened is, is when they came in there. Because there's something else Mr. Keller also posted um, about when he posted the transcripts of when these officers went into the garage. They were filming. And they stopped filming. And suddenly that's when this one guy, that's when like one guy goes, oh, hey, I found this over here. Right after the camera gets turned off. And that's when they found the bullet. So, I mean, there is some just really suspect things. Why wasn't the camera running for 10 or 20 more seconds so that we could have all seen him find that without any... Then we would have no doubt. We would have zero uh, doubt. It would be like, okay, that was there. But no, uh, as it is, we're left going, no, nope, it doesn't look like it was there, and I don't believe it was there because you guys shut the camera off 10 or 15 seconds before that suspicious-looking thing appeared. <laughs> so. do you know what it, do you know it must have been it must have been the same camera that they were using on the 27th and the 28th and it's faulty they failed yeah. um, <laughs> it must be the faulty bloody camera could be could be <laughs> no 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 angus oh damn i wasn't supposed yeah, to angus. mention that your name is angus mcpew was i oh uh, sorry oh, you'll need to it? edit that bit out where did you get that one from <laughs> <laughs> okay then um yeah i know and and, and i and i apologize if, if you don't want to even even um even pass comment on this but uh -huh. as i say i have a sort of it's kind of like a 20 percent possibility I, I would say no more than that that Teresa is still around because we know for a fact that she you know, it, it's it's highly unlikely that she was shot. Who, whoever I was agree. attacked at the back of her car was hit by a blunt object, and this is where the splatter comes from. Right now, this this does suggest to me that you know, yes, yes, she did meet with a with a, uh, a you know a, a, a fatal injury, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, but people have said, well, there, there should have been actually a lot more blood within the the back of the car where you know the bloody hair uh, mixes with the bleeding out outside of it 
and then put in the and car. Yeah. In. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, d- 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 I does, mean does, if that, a, does that. If you had a, a, a wound on your head that was enough to open up your skull, kind of like that did, you're going to. You're gonna be you're gonna be you know hit an artery or something. You're gonna be bleeding bad, and your blood's gonna pour yep. out pretty quick. Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, they, they still find some blood back there. Obviously, we see some blood and hair, you know, stuff you know, still in there. It's just not a lot. So that leads me to believe that somebody killed her in a heat of passion or something like that, possibly, or just somebody else that killed her. And didn't maybe mean to, I don't know, and left her there for a while while they were trying to figure out what the hell to do about it. And mm-hmm. left her there while she was bleeding out. And then by the time they throw her in the RAV4, she pretty much was bled out. That's kind of the way I see that. Kind of. I'm, I'm, I must admit, I'm kind of leading, leaning very much towards the fact that, that she was deliberately attacked to frame Steve. It's I, I can't I can't put anything past right now the state of Wisconsin, uh, no. especially under the regime of of Peg, who um, but, <laughs> we must mention, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah, Peg, Peg, obviously, I mean, she was doing some things to try to. She want hmm. see. It's an interesting situation because yes, Stephen Avery gets out of jail. People, he gets out of prison. Now, we all know the story of Stephen Avery, okay, but but what the bigger story is, and, and this is what kind of like Juan is involved for, because Juan's kind of involved in the political structure there in Wisconsin, and the bigger picture is that he's trying to point out to people is that this doesn't start and end on Avery Road. You, to really understand what happened on Avery Road, you have to go to Madison. You have to you have to bring your mind out of Two Rivers for a minute and go to Madison. And it's true, because when you start looking at what's going on there, you start to see a pic. You start to see uh, something else forming. Uh, something else kind of comes up out of the ether, as it were. And that is, you had Stephen Avery who pops out of the system. He's exonerated by DNA. First time it happened in Wisconsin. Suddenly, he's the poster child for wrongfully convicted people there in Wisconsin. This is not this is not a fun idea for law enforcement or the DOJ or any of that. No. But despite that, Governor Jim Doyle embraces it. He's like, "Oh no, yeah. we got to fix this. We got to get this right. We got to get these innocent people out of prison." Yeah. Peg doesn't agree she very much does not agree with governor jim doyle on this Mm. okay so and the reason why is is because there's 900 people in jail Mm. right now that have just petitioned the the innocence project to because they want to get their evidence tested or whatever and stuff like that so there's 900 people like behind stephen avery peg's looking at that going Let's just theoretically say 50 of them are valid. Let's say 50 out of the 900 are valid. Even 50 coming out, she doesn't want to have to pay for that. She doesn't want the state or the DOJ to have to pay for that. She's looking at it strictly as a financial problem, Mm -hmm. not a moral or an ethical problem. And, and, And that much does become evident. Now, Chad does make other claims about some of the, the way the money works. I haven't researched that just yet. Um, his claim that the Avery Commission um, was... I, I'm not sure how... he how, how uh, What I'm not sure of his claims yeah. of where the 460 came from. Where well, that, what, what, yeah. where that 460 was, was, came from, yeah. I'm not sure about yet. So it's yeah, hard yes. for me to speak about it. Sure. But, but but no, Steve. Steve, as you say, um, and, and let's go back. One of the things that that I think uh, Chad and Juan are particularly concerned about would be the fact that in making a murderer, those two years between two thousand and three and two thousand and five, they 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 go through that in the film very quickly. 
it's it's sort of mm-hmm. it like jumps from 2003 to 2000 and that's the bit that's missing and and i think part of the part of the believe it or not part of the claim i think by chad is the fact that uh, because jerry buting had had actual um uh, sort of input into the editing of make it this is this i think this is what he was saying that yeah. you know that, that he actually had input on this and wanted the focus to be on kratz rather than on on madison and, and you know that that th- th- this this period of time was 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 sort of jumped over but yes steve when he got out the state offered him twenty five thousand, which was the the standard since 1905 or something like that right. you know so so he petitions for 1.1 million right and this is when the state say and you know apparently jerry knew about this that steve had got this check waiting for him for 460,000 that's what they offered him right. you know but then the um you know when when the uh, when he when he got settled the 400,000 that supposedly came from insurances via Dennis Vogel whose insurance agent took a nice 60,000 com- commission and that's where the 400,000 came from and you know and as you yeah. say you you've, you know at Everybody, we need to look at the bigger picture here, you know. Hopefully, hopefully, um, when, when when it was confirmed that Peg had passed away, which is which is a sad thing because you know she was only sixty two, and you know from a yeah. from a purely sort of our point of view, it would have been nice to have eventually had her on a witness stand, mm-hmm. you know, telling telling people you know what 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 went on, yeah. um, but. You know, they're saying you know you know she, she might be taking secrets to the grave with her. There again, it might now be the opportunity for the floodgates to open and somebody to to come forward. Um, you know, somebody who, who who doesn't mind spilling the beans, coming forward and actually looking into the yeah. emails and and the goings on at the Department of Justice. Is is, is that where where she was? She's, well, she's, she's the attorney she's, general, but so she was the head of the Department of Justice. I mean, that, as I say, that that Wisconsin and justice in the same sentence just doesn't make sense <laughs> to me whatsoever. But yeah. you know, every, um, every state has a DOJ. Yeah, you know, um, <laughs> we're we're just hopeful that that you know, it, it rather than being a negative thing, it might actually be um, a, a positive thing, and uh, and we and we start to get movement on this Thank because. You. Uh, you know, this 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 isn't just a simple homicide. No, it's you know, well, it's too convenient for Manitowoc it's to be extremely, and the know. state and the state, which is why you yeah. also have to look to Madison because when you think about it, she wants to prevent, let's say, fifty of these nine hundred getting out. She wants to plug this hole. She wants to she wants to plug this hole in the dam that's about to burst, and the best way to do that is for her to be able to work the mumbo jumbo she ends up working with kind of blocking the innocence project or at least slowing down the process to pretty much a halt but she's able to do that and get away with that because the public no longer gives a crap because they re-vilified stephen avery once they re-vilified stephen avery oh he's the poster child for wrongful convictions who got out oh look he killed this girl yeah now the public. We should like, have yeah, ne- we should have let ne- never rock. let him out in the first place. Yeah, that's what it's it. The public, the public basically gets of the opinion of okay, yeah, let them all rot. You know, clearly yep. that's you know because that allowed them to do what she does, and, and it's like Chad says that they then send over a, um, a actual like attorney from the DOJ to who sits over at the Innocence Project. They. Um, immediately knocked out a certain number of the claims that were um, that were valid, you know, like you said. And, I mean, and then there were other ones, the other ones they were, like, dragging their feet on. So they yeah, were, like, yeah. just putting, they were just putting, like, ridiculous um, waiting periods on everything. Yes. And then often yeah. by the end of that waiting period, the, def- the, the evidence was destroyed by that time. So, you know, yeah. and it was like this whole game. That, that, that yes. they were playing so that they didn't have to help, actually let any innocent people out of prison and therefore didn't have to deal with any financial compensation. And that's when it comes yeah. down to it. It's all about dollars and cents. Um, yeah. Yeah. 
that's how that's how this all happens and if you think if you think that the state's potential losing of millions and millions and millions of dollars by even 50 of those 900 you know even 50 of them you're you're talking possibly even over a billion dollars that's probably going to be going out to these to these guys when they're when they get out right because they were wrongfully convicted and they're going to be well maybe not all of them but whatever you know if they've spent any significant amount of time in prison they're going to be entitled to somewhere in the millions or at least a million yeah. so we're yeah. talking about a significant amount of money that, that that the state would have to pay that they don't want to pay and if you think yeah. the life of Stephen Avery, Teresa Halbach, Brendan Dassey means anything to them when they're facing that problem, you're sorely mistaken. You're living in no. a fool's paradise because they are going to be very motivated to prevent having to pay that money. You know, and that's just yeah. that's just the hands down way of it. Look at the way they it's... act now. Look at how they don't yeah. act up front about things now. When we're all yeah. questioning so many things about this investigation, and you see how everything's all tight-lipped, they don't even want to talk, they don't want to say anything. Why? Because it's like pleading the fifth. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, and unfortunately for for, for, for so, much, so much of us, we do have common humanity and, uh, you know, regard and compassion for our fellow creature and, and you know we we we, we just want to see justice done and and if and and as, as i used to say to robert if if it was if it was you robert that was the one that had been the feature of making a murder i would be making the same attempts to you know to, to contact people as, as i am for steve right. you know ju you know it's, it's not because steve is at the bottom of the social ladder right you know if if it, if it was yourself robert you know i i would i would hope that that, that you know the the roles would be would be reversed, and you know there would be just as much interest in this. Now, and another thing I know that uh, I I don't think that you'll want to uh, really comment on, um, but f for me the the fact that two people alibied each other mm -hmm. is now moving very 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 rapidly up to the top of my list um, to the extent whereby Ryan is going down and down and down because of the of the time frame within which you know um that that the yes Teresa left the yard but she only went on to highway 147 gets flagged down something happens that's why her car is seen there on halloween evening mm -hmm. and of course I've, I've actually passed this information on to um uh, zelna's law office i actually phoned up and spoke to a guy there Believe it or not, on Easter Monday the the offices were open, which I was very very impressed. You know that, and and so so I've given all the details of this person that's contacted me, um, and and they will they will obviously um, pursue if, if 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 they feel that they need any more witnesses to the fact to that that, that, that yeah. car was there. Right. You know, it it's it's you know it's it's maybe just a, another number to add to the list of names of people that saw that car there. Right. Um, but it's you know it's it's like you know I'm thinking well did, did she did she do her rounds did she then go to the zippers did she go home and then get attacked? Right. It's not looking like that at all. Yeah. Well. It's it's looking more like you know she, because um, some are saying that because, the zippers actually happened on the Friday before and stuff like that. I mean it's it's weird how unsure they are. Of, of Teresa's schedule it makes you get the feeling that there was some doctoring of what really happened yeah yeah I mean it is another thing that you know you were on about the um, Ken, Ken Kratt stuttering about the question mm -hmm. of uh, the deleted voicemails and he says oh it's something we could investigate well they had already investigated hadn't they pretty much because because they already knew about this phone call to the um... well quadrini wasn't a deleted voicemail though he it was, wasn't it, he wasn't a deleted one but but did they not but i'm sure i read that they actually um what's the word is it subpoenaed the um the the, the wireless network and got the deleted ones from them i don't think they actually got the deleted messages but i think they were able no. to get 
the um the like call info um that right. had like all the it had like all the numbers and blah 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 you know like you've seen right, okay um okay. you know you've seen those blocks where it shows her calls and yes. it's just you know these blocks of like all these numbers that are like indecipherable to us but they make sense to like the singular techie right so yep. <laughs> um so, yeah. so so how how was it that dean and jerry weren't given notification of this quadrini i don't know i i really don't um because i was watching <laughs> tiktok manitowoc talk to jerry yep. about it on twitter and jerry didn't seem to it seemed to be news to him so right. I mean, how much was the prosecution holding back? Who knows at this point? We know that we know that we know <laughs> Ev- that Fassbender everything? was running his own evidence storage solutions facility. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, so yeah, who knows what they were doing? They were doing a case of CYA. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> CYA at its finest. <laughs> so, um, have you had a a good um, sort of? break with the uh with the easter have you had a bit of a break because i know there was there was one morning when you when you had a, a morning off yeah i i had friday off so i had amazing I had amazing off. i had time i had that day off but i was doing stuff that day um taking care of running errands taxes <laughs> all kinds of stuff oh. um and then um i made a video on I made, I don't know, I made like four or five videos this weekend. Oh, you, you've been working like <laughs> so, a Trojan pal. Yeah, so, um, and then I also, uh, I'm working on my other car. I have a Chevy S10. I had to get a new passenger mirror for it. So I went, went and got it and put it on this weekend. And I was working on that and doing a number of things. I was getting a bunch of stuff knocked out and done and out of the way that I needed doing. <laughs> so, so, sorry, what sort of Chevy? Uh, Chevy S10. It's is that a like a sports car? It's a, no, oh, it's a, a, a pickup. Pick uh, it's like a half ton. You've not you've not got like a sports car then? No, <laughs> no, you're not into sports cars. Uh, I don't know. They're all right. I don't have nothing against I, them, I, but it's just I, more I, useful I, for me to have vehicles that have storage capacity and stuff like that. So I I I think with the size of your feet, you'd have a job getting into because you're a tall guy, <laughs> and you'd have a job getting into a sports car. You know, it's 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 just, it's just little them. deeds like 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 me and Chad that can get into these low slung cars. Yeah, right. You need something, as you said. You need a big. I'd be like Jeremy big Clarkson. Pickup truck. Yes. <laughs> But no, I think. Uh, sorry, getting back to um, one one thing I did here. I, I think that uh, your your um, what is it? You're 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 being given a a law degree by Sydney University. I think that is totally appropriate. <laughs> I'm going to have a word with Galashiels and see if they can get you the same one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have been it's, awesome. <laughs> it's it's very it's very uh, flattering. But yeah, I'm definitely. The lawyers of the world, like right now, I'm sure Miss Miss Tracy S is, would probably be yes. going, Rah! you know, because you know they had to they had to go to a lot of school and had to yeah. cram and I'll learn not, a whole bunch of law and everything. So. Say, uh, hold on a sec. Are you suggesting Tracy S is some sort of velociraptor? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I think no. I just think that a real I think a real lawyer come on. Would, CYA, would be frustrated man, by the suggestion that I should get an honorary yeah. law degree. That is what I'm saying. <laughs> and and in fairness, you have made you have made it quite clear that, that you get sent information because um, somewhat similar to, to when when I got contacted about the sighting of the Rav Four. You know, somebody was quite happy to tell me about something and to actually speak to me on the phone mm-hmm. because I'm a, a, you know, somebody that's, that's going out on YouTube and, right. and doing this stuff. But obviously 4,000 miles away also helps, you know, yeah. um, you know, you know, I mean, I, I remember saying to, saying to, um, so to them about the fact that, uh, I got in touch with the, uh, the city police department in Manitowoc and the, the, the city police guy, Nick Rima, um, and at the end of his email, a sort of typically sort of, uh, you know, um, sort of sort of slightly sinister comment, take care, you know. And I'm thinking, you haven't got a 
clue where I'm from, have you, pal? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm 4,000 miles away. <laughs> if, 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 you, if, you, if you think Manitowoc can threaten me in Galashiels, you are deluded. <laughs> that is funny. That is funny. Uh, but it, but it was it was funny how you know even the police department you know they're saying you know oh be careful you know they don't want anything to ruffle things going on in Manitowoc and remember remember we had this um, we, we tried to have a conversation well we did have a conversation but there was a technical difficulty it must be that same bloody camera um, ah. <laughs> the the, the um, camera worked fine it was the audio we were having trouble yeah 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 <laughs> and, and, the, and, and some of the people speaking. Um, that that because of these briefs, you know, because of the the weight of people who have now come forward, sixty two was it sixty two current and former prosecutors, yeah, you know, all of these networks have all come together, and now finally, hopefully, Manitowoc Sheriff's Department are beginning to realise that this is serious. They, this is serious. This mm-hmm. you know this this is this has been you know. Yeah, it was it was it was great within the first few months when Zelna took over, and there was going to be this this um, um, you know tsunami of uh, you know, and right. and it's 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 not been a tsunami. It 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 could come. We can't get into we get, court. Once we got to get into court we, first. Once we get this evidentiary mm-hmm. hearing, you know, yeah. and and that and that I think is the moment when Herman's going to go. Oh, I better get in touch with the Zelna, and maybe maybe Dayton Thomas is going to see the holes in the hands. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it's going to be a case of uh, it's got to be that they are starting to feel the heat now because all all of those briefs, you know, mm-hmm. and the suggestion that, that you know, Brendan is when Manitowoc were nothing to do with Brendan. Well, you know, where, where was Brendan's trial held? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was it's Manitowoc, you know, right. it's, it's right. and, and it's if, if you can't see the bigger picture that all of this stuff, it's it's all connected it, it was not just a simple you know um attack attack a female photographer for pure gratification yeah you know you you, you that 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 for me is plain and simple nonsense and if you can't see the fact that that steve and brendan were framed yes they they planted evidence against Stephen avery they planted thoughts in brendan's mind mm-hmm you know, that's, yeah, certainly, that, that, they if, fed him the facts. They fed him facts. Yeah. They, yeah, planted thoughts and suggested things, and yeah, it's a train anyway, wreck. Just, it's an absolute train wreck. It's just like, yeah, it's well, it's yeah. We, <laughs> as I say, I, I just, I just hope that, um, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm fairly confident that that they are starting to really feel the heat. That 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 things really are starting to. Uh, to get a move on and it won't be long now before well how, how long is it is it until um until we get news of um was it the state were meant to yeah, reply to brief. yeah the state's brief to the supreme court is due on may 10th and apparently on that same date is the day we will see amicus briefs if any filed in favor of the state yeah. Which would, so, would most likely be coming from like other state DOJ departments and you know, yes and stuff like that. So um, and maybe other other places, maybe other collections of maybe like law enforcement. Um, I was going to say possibly sheriff's offices that, that are yeah. friendly towards Manitowoc or something like that might might file one or something like that. But I would say primarily it would be other states, you know, criminal justice machines would want to, you know, maybe say, you know, maybe want to you know, have something to say about it, essentially, so. Yeah. It, I mean, it's, 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 it's going to be to do with the, um, the voluntariness, isn't it? It's that, that, that's, 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 that's their sort of thing. They're, they're, they're going to try and say that, that the um, confession was given voluntary, voluntarily. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but um, can you remember what what's what's the sort of uh, dateline as to do with Zelna and uh, what she's um... she see hers? 
I think her 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 brief was supposed to be due in March or whatever, but she filed for an extension and got it. That's it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so so that's I think it was a forty five day extension, so that puts it off into June or July. Okay, right about- I think or something like that. Um, I think it was forty five. I'm not sure, but anyway, yeah. she got an extension and it's going to be a bit long, a bit longer. Um, and that's with the appeals court, and there's no. The appeals court isn't going to be rushing this one. It's it's going to be kind of the normal snail pace, uh, I guess yeah. you would say. So, um, so who, there's there's no telling how long she'll be there waiting to get satisfaction getting her evidentiary hearing. But mm-hmm. judging by what she wrote in her briefs previously, it sounds like she's entitled to one. And, oh yeah, and it sounded like Judge Sukowitz's Sukowitz's reasoning was well paper thin. She didn't seem to. She didn't honestly give me the impression that she really fully read and understood the brief and certain aspects of it. Um, yeah. And probably didn't want to. Could be, and uh, I just I don't know. Found in some of her. I found some of her reasoning not very convincing. Yep. Um, so I don't know. Uh, yep. I was, I, I, you know, I don't know. I, I don't think much of it, but Hey, I'm not a lawyer, not a judge. Um, but you know, I think common sense tells me that she certainly didn't fully comprehend certain things in the motion. Uh, that yep. much is certain. Yep. Yep. And of course we, we are still waiting for making a murder number two to come out. Yeah. <laughs> We've been not, waiting forever on that. I don't even know. I'm starting to wonder if it's ever going to come out. <laughs> and, um, I, I I don't understand when when it was such a um, to use an American word a phenomenon. Mm-hmm. You know why they why they wouldn't want to do a series two. Well, they do. Unless, but uh, you know, well, is this the problem of they want it to they they want season two to come out when there's somebody released like they, yeah. they, they want it to coincide with a release or yeah that would make ideally sense, yeah. both but at least one so yeah i don't know yep that could be what it is i i think they should probably do something soon no matter what just to get people to draw people's attention back to it again to see what's going on with brendan right now with supreme court and and that sort of stuff but um, you know, I don't know. Yeah. They're going to do what they're yeah. going to do, I guess. Yeah. Um, sorry. I'd, uh, I, I suppose this, this, this might be a, 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 a legal question that, 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 that you might not be able to, even though you are a, uh, have, have a law degree with the Gala Shields and the Sydney <laughs> University. Um, <laughs> the, the writ for reconsideration, I'm not even going to attempt right. that Latin word. Right. You, you you can have a go at it if you want. Oh the oh I don't remember what. Sir 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 Oh Sir Sir Okay. Sir, it's, it's yeah it's it's the T I O it's Sir Shiorari. Sir Sir Shio. Sir 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 Yes, it's, uh, it's Italiano. Yes. Okay, so um. Paisano. Yes. So that if Brendan gets this and with the amount of amicus briefs and the people behind it you would have to say and and by the way i did like the fact that they paid they they acknowledged the fact that you know millions of people even though i got a bit upset about the millions of americans the Mm -hmm. fact that millions of people are aware of this case through making a murder and there was an acknowledgement that you know this is this isn't just a a, a, shall i say a legal matter but it's something it's something that people in the country are concerned about yes there's a significant you know, yeah, number yeah, of people. You know, this isn't like the other you know, cases where there's a very finite number of people that care about it. This one's yeah. a little different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. So, so 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 what happens? They 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 agree to hear the case. It they, they then have arguments, do they, on both sides? Well, so what happens? Wex Sassman well, will get up to represent Brendan, and this is the point where um, I'm going to suggest to everybody to go to my Twitter. And look, I recently tweeted a bunch of videos. Very, very, they're like made, they're almost, they're kind of made for kids or for students almost learning about government and stuff like that. 
And they're kind of just really fundamental explanations of how, like, the, I posted one for how the court system, the actual national court system, how it's set up, how it works, and how, how c- cases progress through it and actually could reach the Supreme Court like Brendan's has done. Yeah. Um, and then there's another video I did where it talks about procedure of the Supreme Court. And what happens is, is Brendan's right now in the first stage. He's waiting in line at the club, right? It's the hot club in town everybody wants to get into, right? So yep. he's at the process right now. He's waiting in line at the club. He's now got six amicus briefs. So that's like having like, you know, six, you know, good votes or six, you know, things that make him look cool to the bouncer. So hopefully he gets in. Yeah. Right? Anyways, that's where he's at. If he gets in, then he gets into what they call the cert pool, which is which means the writ of certiorari pool. So how there's however many they're dealing with at the time. And, and that's where they decide whether or not, they're going to take on the case or whether or not they're going to go ahead and, and, and discard it. So it possibly could get discarded at the search stage, even, oh, right. even if it gets, but then if it gets past the search stage and it gets to the next stage, which they call, I forget what they call it, but that's basically where they're now discussing the case in earnest, you know, and, and, and really going over it. And then if that happens, then they will call for, or most likely they will call for oral arguments. Um, mm. And then that's when Seth Waxman and the lady whose name I can't remember, who's going to end up being the lawyer for the state of Wisconsin, because she's just, that's her job in the, in the DOJ is that she's deals with this stuff. Like anything that would go to the Supreme court. She's the one that right. deals with it just by default. Uh, no special right. reason. Um, anyway, so it would be her and then obviously Seth Waxman and, and they would go and, and, and they would be doing their brief in front of the Supreme Court. And then after that, we would get a decision. Yeah. So, but it's tough, you know. Yeah, he's kind of got two hurdles to jump to get to the point oh. of, of them yeah. actually taking the case. So. Yeah, okay. Okay. But, but so far, you know, we're halfway through the Grand National and we've cleared most of the hurdles quite successfully. Technically, so no, it was, no, technically, it was statistically, um, it was it was more it was more daunting statistically that he would get on bank review. That it was yeah. it was actually more likely that he would get a SCOTUS review than it was that he would get a on bank review. Well, he got the on bank mm. review, didn't he? Boom. Unfortunately, he got that sucker. Yeah. So you know, this case, he's got. Yeah. The, it's it's just got so much juice. It's got so it's a juggernaut, dude. I I just don't. Yeah. I really think Scotus yeah. is gonna have to deal with it. I don't know if they're yes. gonna really be able to skirt it because it's just yeah. got so much attention, so much yeah. emotion yeah. behind it, so much. I mean, everything that's going yeah. on with it. It's yeah. yeah, it's just so much. I just it'll be yeah. hard for them to yeah. ignore. Them, yeah, but but I mean, even even if um, if the if the arm bank review hadn't have gone ahead, the state had the option of then taking the case to SCOTUS. And that was one of the things I mentioned to you, was the fact that it's almost as if because um, Brendan um, lost the the full on-bank review, now, the leading up to the SCOTUS, um, um, you know, appeal to SCOTUS, yes. would, did, I got this sense that, you know, He's been given all this support, and perhaps the fact that he lost the on bank review has, in, in a very pervert way, has actually helped him to, to garner even more support. I, yeah, sure. Yeah. Possible? I think, yeah. I think it, well, or at least there might have been people before that thought, eh, you know what? It, it's, you know, it's probably, it's, he's probably all right. There's no, nothing yeah. to worry about. And then yeah. now they're now they're sitting there looking at that on bank review decision, going, "Ow, oh, what? We need to do something." Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. it could be very well. Yeah, that, that that's yeah. What oh, okay, but sorry that that wasn't that wasn't actually going to be my my question. Okay. It was more more case of <laughs> so so when they when they actually do the um, uh, you know if if they, when when they get to these oral arguments, let's let's say they get there, which mm-hmm. which I, you know. Right. I'm with you. I, I, 
they 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 have to they have to review it. They haven't done it for forty years. They have to review it and well, and, and sort yes. of you well, know and and, and get 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 courts to draw to you know mm-hmm. to toe the line. If then the the decision goes in favour of Brendan, is that confession thrown out once and for all? That's what they would. Is do. it? Is it? Is it? Is it obliteration for all. confession? If the Supreme Court yeah. does it, that yes. If the Supreme it's Court does it, that's it. There's nowhere else to go. It's done. It's End over. of. End of. So w- now, what, that now, conf- now, to, now yep. having said that, that doesn't yes. mean that there's not another step the state can take. Yes, because they the can retry him. Can retry him exactly. Yeah. Without the and would they? Without any physical evidence, and yeah, without anything to really use against him. Essentially, that's that. W- that would be that would be. They can play the phone call, that I would. guess, but even that's <laughs> un- unethical because the phone call is fruit of the poisonous Kaczynski tree. So yeah, um, yeah. So I don't know. I mean, yeah, that's where they would be, but they would have that option. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> anyway. Okay, Ducky. Oh, I've I've just got visitors arrived. Okay, buddy. Well, I'm gonna go My, ahead and get uh, to bed then. So. You better, you better, yeah, because you've 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 got loads of work to do. <laughs> You're not kidding. I mean, in, I mean, real work in real life too. <laughs> uh, that, that as well. I mean, I was staggered when you told me how many miles you, you simply travel every day to yeah. and from work. I spend, yeah. Uh, it's and, and unfortunately, uh, the freeway I have to travel is a punk, and it takes yeah? me. I spend probably about an hour and a half on the road traveling. Yeah. So each day, you, you, you know, I th- I think I'm going to have to lend you my cousin's time machine. Yeah, your cousin. It's, it's, it's called it's called a dark. Is, time. His, is his name Peter? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you met him. <laughs> you know him. You know him. Yeah, I've heard of him. Yeah, he just stays over in Glasgow. I love him. He's Scottish. He he, he, he can is. complain about things. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy. Okay. You go. Crack on. Yes. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye for now.